This is Wendy Davis, and we are doing our paired t-test for dependent samples. Mu d is going to be the mean difference between round one and round two, and our null hypothesis is that the differences is zero, or that there is no significance, significant difference in the score on the two rounds. The coaching intervention had no effect. The alternate hypothesis, there is a significant difference in the score, on round one and round two, the coaching intervention had an effect. In symbolic form, HA mu D does not equal zero, and testing with a 0 0.05 significance. Okay, so we'll go to SPSS. The first thing we need to do is create our differences column. So we will create this column using transform compute variable. We're going to call it the difference and our calculation is going to be game one subtract game two. Okay. And now we need to test our assumptions and that is if it's normally distributed. Okay, so we're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Okay, we're testing our variable is differences. We don't need tables. We do want our histograms with the normal curve. And differences, put that in our variables. Okay, we can see it is fairly normally distributed, not as good as some other distributions, but we will continue on with assuming our assumptions have been met. So now we will do our test, analyze, compare means, paired samples t-test, and game one, is our first variable. Game two is our second variable. Okay, and we can see under paired samples test, we're testing game one minus game two. If we're testing that it is equal versus not equal, we'll look at our two-sided p-value, which is 0.108. Okay, so that's going to tell us that our significance value is more than 0.05. So we fail to reject HO. There's not enough evidence to support the claim that the coaching had an effect on the score. Okay, this is Wendy Davis, week five, and that's the end of my video.